Hello and welcome to Linda's Take. Today we are going to be looking at a PowerPoint assignment. It's through Sam Cengage Chapter 4 PowerPoint. It's the uh, Project 1 and it's the Delbrook Community Center. So I've already downloaded the instructions and I'm going to bring my PowerPoint over to my screen here. You can see across the top we have our yellow bar that tells us this is in a protected view. So we need to enable editing. Then we are ready to save our file. Now that we have it saved, we are ready to begin working on our modifications. The first thing it wants us to do is apply the office theme to the presentation. So I'm going to come up here to the design tab and then I'm going to choose office theme. And it wants us to modify our office theme by selecting the theme variant that is the second from the left in the selection of variants. So over here to the right of our themes we have our variants and here is the second one from the left so we're going to choose that. Then we're going to change the theme fonts to Kandora. So to find our theme fonts, we're going to cl click on this More button here in the Variance grouping. Here's our fonts. And then we're going to scroll down here and find Candera. Select that. We want to change the theme effects to Frosted Glass. I'm going to click on the More button here again and come to effects. This time we want to choose the frosted glass. And we also want to customize the color of our text within our theme. So back to our more button. This time we're going to go to colors. And in order to customize, we're going to come clear down here to the bottom to customize colors. We have all of these presets already set up for us in this theme but we want to change the color of the text background dark too. So right here, we're going to click on this little button right here, and we are going to change that to turquoise, accent 3, darker 50%. Make that selection. Then we're also going to change the name of our customization to turquoise. Make sure you spell it correctly, then hit the Save button. And we have now customized this theme for this presentation only. Now we're going to switch to our Slide Master view. So we're going to come up here to View. Over here we have our Masters view. And here is Slide Masters. Now Slide Masters control the look of your entire presentation. The colors, the fonts, backgrounds, effects, everything within your presentation. If you know you want to have a logo in the bottom left corner of every single slide in your presentation, you can add it to the Slide Master and it will show up on the slides. So you don't have to go into every single individual slide in your presentation to make that change. That's how Slide Masters work and they can really save you a lot of time if you set them up correctly. We're going to switch to Slide Master View and we're going to make some changes in here. For the first thing, we want to go to the title slide layout used by Slide 1. So it's right here. And we're going to change the background style to Style 9. So we've got our title slide layout here going to come up here. We have our background styles. I want to choose style 9. I'm going to right click and I'm going to apply to all layouts. So we're going to have that background now on all of our layouts. We are also going to select the office theme slide master and that's this very first one. You might have to move your scroll bar to see the very top one. We are going to change the color of the master tile style, title style to the turquoise. So right here, we're just going to 
click here and highlight it. Click up here on our font color. We're going to change that to that turquoise. Accent 3, darker 25%. We're going to select the content with caption layout, which is the eighth placeholder on here. When you move your mouse over it, the name of your slide will pop up. So right here, our content with caption layout. And we're going to rename this layout celebration. So if I right click on it, I can rename my layout and I'm going to rename it Celebration. Then I want to insert a picture content placeholder over here in the left placeholder. So right up here, I've got Insert Placeholder. Come down here and select Picture, and I'm going to put it right here in this bottom area. I'm going to now go to the blank slide layout. Right here's my blank slide layout, and I'm going to rename it Final. And then I'm going to insert a picture. I'm going to come to the Home tab, go to Picture on this device, and this is the picture that we downloaded with our starter file. Somebody come to my Downloads. I want the one that's the center. So right here, insert. So I have my picture here. I'm going to crop my picture to the oval shape. So up here in crop, I'm going to crop to shape and select oval. And then I'm going to move my position based on the figure two in my instructions. So I'm going to take my picture here. I'm going to move it down over the Dell Book Recreation and I want it to be, let's see, that looks like it's matching my slide right there. Okay, so we have our uh, picture in here. We have it cropped. The last thing we want to do in here is add a slide background with a texture. So over here in our format background, we're going to do the picture or texture fill. And we're going to come down here and we're going to select the canvas texture. Now we're ready to close our master view and we're going to go to the final slide in our presentation and apply the final layout. Now it might look like it's already there, but we still want to go ahead and make sure that we apply it again. So we're going to come up here to the layout and apply final. I'm going to close these two navigation panes over here. I'm going to go to slide seven and I'm going to make it the celebration layout, the one we just created. I'm going to come up to layout and say celebration. I'm going to click on this picture icon and now I'm going to add the community picture that I downloaded earlier and hit insert. I don't want slide three to show in my presentation, but I don't want to delete it either. So I'm going to scroll up to slide three and I'm going to right click in it and then I'm going to scroll down here to hide slide. See we have a slash through our three. That means that this slide is not going to appear in our presentation. But again, we haven't deleted it so we can go back and make changes if we want to. On slide six, we want to hide our background graphics. So to do that on the design tab, I'm going to come over here to format background hide background graphics. Then we're going to change our slide background to a pattern fill. And we want the one that uses vertical stripes, vertical stripes, light pattern right there. We want to change the foreground color to turquoise accent three, lighter 80%. And we want to change the background color to turquoise, accent three, lighter 40%. So if we come up to our view and look at our slide sorter view, this is what our presentation should look like. We have all of our slides here. This dash on our three means that that will not show when we make our presentation. So now we're ready to save our file and close it and go back 
to Sidgage and submit it for grading. So I've submitted it and I'm ready to look at my graded summary report. And our graded summary report is going to be on our last slide. And you can see we received 100 out of 100. If your score was different, go back and into your original file and make the changes as necessary and then resubmit if your instructor allows you for a higher grade. I hope you've learned some new things on PowerPoint and using master slides in this presentation. Thank you for joining me here on Linda's Take. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, have a great rest of your day.